Hey there, and welcome to Tuk Tuk's Trinkets and Terrain. This week I decided to go through some of my old crafts, and among them was a crypt that I had made several years ago for an adventure we were playing at the time. And it is lackluster, to say the least. So I decided to take the new skills and tools that I've acquired over these few years and redesign it. Uh, thanks for stopping by, I hope you enjoy. So, as you can see, this is my original crypt. It was one of the very first things I ever made. Literally just a piece of cardboard with some decorations on it. Uh, I did pull this little dragon head off. Uh, I thought that was cool. It was from a clearance action figure I got at, I think, Toys R Us. For the base of this project, we're going to use a milk cart, which is an idea that I got from Frankie D. Crafter. Uh, I will put a link in the description for that video. Uh, here I just cut off the top of the carton as well as the nozzle and then I glued a piece of chipboard to it just for some structure. These little foam pieces I cut just sort of an interesting shape and I'm going to glue these on all the corners just to make the uh, outside look a little more interesting instead of just a big box. And then I cut a piece of foam board that I'm gluing on the inside here just for some added support so it doesn't crush in on itself. And then again just filling in these weird empty spaces with bits of chipboard to um, make a nice solid foundation. For the front here, I cut this little archway out of foam, glued that to the front. Here I start the process of uh, measuring out pieces of foam board to cover all the surfaces. I just eyeballed these, I didn't measure. And then I ended up using this uh, 3D printed texture roller uh, to make a nice brick pattern for all the foam. use the slope of the roof to trim off the excess foam here. And I just covered up all of the walls. Uh, above the little feet, uh, I just cut some little pieces of extra foam here just to fill in that area. My uh, idea for this was to make this crypt as sort of like the entrance piece to stairs going down underground so this isn't necessarily the entire crypt just sort of the fancy uh, above ground piece that you would see and then as adventurers are going down that essentially just immediately meet stairs to go into the more expansive crypt area. After all that was done, I cut a larger piece of chipboard. I thought the roof needed a little bit of an over overhang. Cut that out, scored the middle, and then just hot glued it to the top. For the roof, uh, I wanted a, just a simple metal roof, so I cut strips of some, I think it was an oatmeal box, uh, glued those all down, one on top of each other. Nice neat roof, didn't think it needed anything fancy. After a quick coat of black paint, I glued the dragon on the front there above the doorway. Uh, I proceeded to paint this, uh, this is just a light gray. A uh, pretty heavy overbrush. Uh, after that, I painted the roof a uh, nice copper color and then dry brushed the gray with a light blue. I wanted this to look a little different than your standard stone, so I went with a light blue, not necessarily marble, but that kind of idea. For the roof, I mixed up a patina color that I spackled on to give it some age. Thank you. 
you can see on the door here I added a little bead and some just decorations to give it some interest. Color that the same as the roof. And then a nice healthy coat of black wash across everything. And here it is all painted up. Uh, in front of the door I did add a little piece of chipboard and some rubble. It was mostly to secure the pieces of foam that made the archway. They were a little flimsy. And I painted that up just in some browns and, and dirt colors. And then after all that was done, I did, took a pure white and dry brushed all of these stone areas. So here I wanted to add some moss and plant life. So uh, this is what I use for flocks, just dollar store spices. Uh, it gives a nice color and size variation. And then I just mix that together with a little bit of this, I think it's Gale Force 9 flocking. Uh, just mix that all together with some PVA glue. Almost to the point where it's too runny, but you still want it to stick. See here the consistency. And then I just spread that all over the crypt, wherever I thought was necessary. This is a really good way to cover up mistakes or funky looking areas. Uh, the bits between the roof and the brick were kind of funky looking, so I just used this to cover up those spots. And you can't tell they were there. And you can really go crazy with flocking. Uh, it's really just a matter of what you want to do. Here it is all finished. Uh, it's a much better representation of a crypt than my last one. I hope you liked this video. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna try to do videos every other week going forward. Got some ideas planned out, so I hope you will stop by next time. Uh. <laughs>